Oh, yeah. All that. So, anyway, I got that yesterday. So, I did my chores. Clairvoyance kicked in and said, go on up there, go check that out. Soon as I hit the door, my partner, I got something for you. Hands me that one right there. So, I got that and I got this right here, 10% off of the whole get down. This was $7.99. I had to get it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I got those two yesterday. This morning, I wake up. You know what I'm saying? We all talking about this on Facebook because I had posted my purse. And this motherfucker, mind you, online right now, this bitch is $2,700. Okay? This is $2,700. Okay? It is vintage. But this is a $2,700 bag new. Okay? So, uh, so I had, you know, one, one, uh, I ain't gonna put her name out there, nothing like that. But, you know, you always got some... You always got some funny style ass shit to say on my motherfucking post. I never blocked her off. I never kicked you off or nothing like that because, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, sometimes people don't realize, you know, and sometimes, you know, um, you know, you can learn some shit from a motherfucker, you know what I mean? And even though you be shady as fuck a lot of times and stuff, you know, I still comment on your little pictures, you know, when you post and stuff, I still treat you nice. You know, thumbs up, say a few things, you know what I'm saying? Hey, girl, all that old type of shit. But then you still want to hit me with some okie doke. And not one time have I cussed you the fuck out, which I could have a long time ago, but I've just been cool. So, but this morning, she going to come with, oh, that is a good deal. Because on Facebook, I had posted, you know, the purse, all of it, all up close with the new one. Same print, get down, everything, right? Posted them side by side. $2,700, I paid $30. My boy hooked me up. There it is right there. She gonna come with, oh yeah, that was a good deal, but don't nobody wear that no more. Bitch, if you don't knock it the fuck off, excuse me, apparently you don't know too much about Lou E. Because Lou E don't not lose its motherfucking value. It just does it, baby. You know, that's prestige. That's some shit you just don't fuck with. That's why they don't have no commercials on the TV. They don't. You don't fuck with Lou E, boo-boo. But see, I didn't want to really bust you out like that until I started thinking about that shit. And I'm like, you know what, wait a minute. And then I started, when I woke up this morning, I saw how y'all motherfuckers was all in the line eating that ass up. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead on. You know, I got to, you know, at least say something because, bitch, you did kind of rub me the wrong way because it's like you constantly got something to say about something. So anyway, so bitch went on and posted Miss Chanel and... And and and, and 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 my other little Louis and all I posted all them motherfuckers. I got me a um hat rack right here where it's my purse rack. Nigga and I got about fifteen of them motherfuckers on there. You know what I mean? So just to show let you just to let you know, baby, I'm high low. You know what I'm saying? I look, I'm high low and I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna go no further than that because God giveth and he take it away. And I don't wanna seem like I'm bragging and boasting. But it seems like to people that, that are not accustomed or to people that are not about that life, them the ones that feel as though I'm bragging and boasting. But people that are already in my company already, already know what that do, I'm not bragging and boasting. I'm just regularly talking. So it depends on who you sitting with, I guess. I don't know. Because some motherfuckers tend to believe that whatever I'm talking about, I'm bragging about something. I'm, Bitch, what I'm bragging on? I don't have to brag on anything. Allow my shit to speak for itself. I don't have to brag on nothing, boo-boo. Brag? Nigga, that shit is juvenile, okay? It's high lows in this motherfucking world, okay? He give it, then he take it away. You can brag of the fuck you want to, and the very motherfucker that you talking about is the very motherfucker you'll be sitting with. So, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of them. But don't push me, though, because I am only human, and I can only take so motherfucking much, and yeah, I know how to get a motherfucker up off me. And I see you ain't commenting not one more time on that motherfucking post, because all my girls came in on that motherfucker. Whoop the whoop the whoop 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 the whoop Kane. I came in, I was like, dang, here's Kane, here's Dana, oh my God, who, Monica, who else was in that motherfucker, man? Just off the rip. I don't know, Tysha, man, it was so many motherfuckers was just... Monica, my other Monica partner, man, all y'all motherfuckers was just in that motherfucking feed, like, letting this motherfucker know, but you don't know nothing about this, quit playing, okay? So, anyway, but yeah, so I got that yesterday, and I love it, um, I guess I really don't need to go no further with it, because some people will feel it with your way, but now that you've seen it, you've seen this bitch up close, and it's the 30, so, with, 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 with my size, now mind you, I wear a 12, so, 
with this. Now, if when I was bigger, I always wanted the speedy 35 or the speedy 40 because I was much bigger. A bigger girl has to have a bigger purse. It just don't look right. If you big as a motherfucker and got some little bitty ass motherfucking purse, it looked like a coin purse. It looked crazy to me. But a motherfucker like me, now that I came down a little bit, now this 30, I can rock this 30 like it's the thing to do. It look, it look like it go together. You know what I'm saying? It's not looking all out of place and nothing like that. It look like it go together. You know what I mean? So, yeah that part and it still got the locks and shit in this motherfucker look check it on out the locks and shit is still in there i mean the keys excuse me all that shit baby no problem he hooked me up nigga i owe you i owe you one on that shit and right off the top he was like well now can i you know what i'm saying now can i at least get a date i mean can i just get can i at least just take you out now you can take me out. We can go to the movie. You hook me up so proper like like that. And for the longest time, I ain't been really wanting to fuck with you. I ain't really been wanting to fuck with you because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, some people you just don't want to be like that with. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it just fucks up the aura. And not to say that he's a bad looking man because he's none of that. You know what I mean? And then he was like, you know, oh, well, you, you know, you, you, you won't fuck with a man like me because I work at For the Goodwill. Nigga, excuse me, you have a job. Okay? You have a job, and there's so many motherfuckers out here don't have a job. So, nigga, no, please understand that I'm not talking you up because of where you work at or nothing like that. You're a nice man. You've been nice to me ever since I've met you up there, that motherfucker. Now, at first, you wasn't there, and there was another manager there, and then they brought you here, whatever. But you shouts me out, and every, every time I come in that motherfucker, you hit me up and say, look, check this out. I got something for you. Come on down here. You know what I mean? And that was just the way it was from the beginning. But now you're trying to go on some other shit. Now can I take you out kind of shit? Maybe we can. Let's let's go. Let, we can go to the movies or something. You know what I'm saying? Just don't ask me, to, ask me for no motherfucking pussy, though. You know what I mean? Don't ask me for no motherfucking pussy. But, yeah, if, if that just means that you want to just take me out and we just go out, go to the movies, little Dave and Busters or whatever, or go shoot some pool, and I'll show you that I don't know nothing about that, Whatever, we can do that. But just please don't ask me for no pussy because I don't really do strange flesh like that. I mean, you're a nice man, you know, nice physique, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. But uh, I, you know, I'm I'm just not one of them. I'm sorry, I'm not one of them. And if that's what the reason why you hooked me up like that is because you was thinking probably, you know, I'm gonna get some pussy on the back end. Uh, you're not gonna get that back. But you know, that was fucked up. <laughs> if that's what you did. So anyway, enough of that shit. Let's get on the day. This morning, I got up, and when I was going back and forth on my timeline and shit, then one mind said, girl, girl, get your ass up and go back down there and see what they got today. So I went down there today, and I got this. I love this little sweater. Oh, my God. And today was dollar day. All red tickets was a dollar. How about one dollar? Where's my red ticket at? One dollar. So, yeah. And see, one thing about over there, they put it through the seam all the way. So you can't just be, be fraudulent and just do it any kind of way because they put it all through the thick part and shit. So, yeah. So I got this for a dollar. I got these for a dollar. These are petite mediums. I think I can get my wide ass in here. I don't know. But I got them anyway. And they was a dollar. Um, I paid regular for these. No, these was a dollar. Y'all, hey, I got me some. Look, and these motherfuckers fit me proper. Oh, my God. Y'all already know I want me a little toe in the front. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have me a little moose knuckle on mine. I'm going to have to have me something like that. I can't wear my jeans sagging in the crotch. That shit just look crazy to me. I'm going to need mine pulled all the fuck way up. Yeah, that's how I'm going to wear mine. I'm just telling you how I'm going to do mine. Well, I tried them on, and mind you now, they're size 14. They're size 14, curvy, boot cut, 501s. What 501 is that? Because, you know, usually it'll say a different number. 529, curvy, boot cut. And they're size 14s, though. They're size 14 medium. And they're big in the waist. But on that ass and on these hips and thighs, though, they fit me good. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take some off of the waist part bring the waist in just a little bit 
you know, or, you know, even, but even, you know, if I wear a belt, it doesn't matter, but it'd be better, but it do fit the, these thighs, it does fit this booty, and this was a red, it's through the whole, through the thing, whereas you can't, you know what I'm saying, you can't, oh, I'll just take one out and put it in another one, I have done that before, you know what I'm saying, but not on this one, you can't do it like that, you know what I mean, so, but yeah, on well, this motherfucker, you know, when they do it like that, it's just like that. But, you know, this is my spot. This is where I go all the time. I ain't trying to get caught up, especially where in all my partners, you know, all these, you know, and they cool and shit. And it's mostly men working there. That's why they price the shit like that, because they don't know. And I be up in that motherfucker clowning with them. When I be get through talking with them motherfuckers, nigga, I done came back out with all kind of motherfucking white diamonds and shit for $3.99. Fucks with them. This whole bag right here. All of red tag white bullshit. This whole bag is 24 red tag pieces. When I went today, okay, baby, I got pearls, huh? No limit, huh? Yeah, nigga, I'm all the way up on this motherfucker. I got all kinds of look, and even like precious stone jewelry that per like somebody that made and shit. All this shit was all red tag. All red tags was one dollar. So when I went in there this morning, he was like, "Oh, you back?" I said, "Baby, I'm back. I love my bag and all that." He was like, "Well, take a look at this. You know, it's some more stuff up here, some more goodies and all that." Look, I about to got a little tusk on this motherfucker. See, all that shit means some shit. You know what I'm saying? This is protection right here. But yeah, mm-hmm. But yeah, all this right, here. baby. A whole bag of this shit. He gave me this whole motherfucking bag right here. He said everything was one dollar. And look at this one right here. This is a heart that got all kind of shit wrote on it. It is impossible to overdo luxury. It is impossible to overdo what? To overdo luxury if impossible to overdo what? I don't know. Motherfucker can't read it half fast. But uh, anyway, I liked it. And it was all red tag, one dollar. So he gave me this whole motherfucking bag right here. I think the nigga charged me ten dollars. But I know it's twenty four pieces in this motherfucker. But I think he charged me ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at it. I didn't get mad at all, nigga. I got to tip it right on out the door. Bye. I see you later. Bye. Yeah. I got me a swimsuit. Got me another one of them. This was, I think this was a regular price. I think this was regular. I think this was a regular price for three dollars, three ninety nine or something like that. But I got me a nice little uh, and a speedo too. That, that's a good quality. I'm gonna wash this motherfucker up because everybody ain't saved. Fuck that nigga. You ain't gonna give me no yeast infection because this bitch right here pH balance is throwed off. Fuck that. I bet you this ain't gonna go on my motherfucking coochie. Not yet. But uh, after I get through with the motherfucking uh. Mm -hmm. Clorox and all of them right there and shit, then I'll be able to wear this motherfucker. Shit. Oh hell yeah. So I got that. And then I got this. This was a dollar. Check this out. It's too cold for it. Don't worry about it. When I get through throwing this motherfucker on with some jeans. Look, let me show you something. No limit. The math P is no limit, baby. Mm, no limit. Okay, it's an extra small. Check that out, okay? Extra small, right? Okay. Because, see, I still ain't lost my little 10 pounds that I'm supposed to by the time. I got 45 days to my 45th motherfucking birthday. I got 45 to 45 right now, okay? Now, by the time I lose that little 10 that I'm trying to get, then I'll be a little bit more proper like. But right now, but it's an extra small, so don't fuck with it, okay? Now, see, it, it's, it's tight. However, though, a bitch like me is fast. So, you know, I've been done throw, throw this on with them little camel um, jeans right there. And throw this on as a, as a top. Oh, wait a minute. It's not. Hold on. I ain't got them level right. Okay. Now this goes. How does it snap? Oh, here you go. Yeah, just like that. This one. Okay. And then this one snaps here. Okay. 
And then even still, even if I do this one, okay? It don't matter. This motherfucker's an extra small, though. Why you bullshit? An extra small, my nigga? Huh, holla at your partner. I've been in war this motherfucker as a blouse while you're playing. Don't let it be cold. I throw my jeans on, throw my heels on, grab one of my purses, and nigga, I'm out the door with this right here. Nigga, we going to the movies or something. With this right here. Is this not bad? Don't fuck with it. Uh, yes. But it's an extra small, though. But when, but by the time I get done fucking with it the way that I'm going to do it, I don't need it to be no jacket. I'm cool with it being a, uh, I'm cool with it being a, um, a blouse. That's the vision that I had when I looked at the motherfucker anyway. And for one dollar, you better count it all joy and quit bullshit. Okay? One dollar. Okay? That. And then I got this. Now this one here is a size medium. Check that out. Now this is a medium. Now check out how this medium works. Once again, I wear these like like this as blouses. I don't wear them as jackets. I wear this as a blouse and keep it pushing on that ass. Okay? But this is a medium note. I'm saying mama got some titties on it. Don't worry about it. Okay? It's a little tight around them titties. But it, it ain't gonna make no never mind. I bet you a nigga ain't gonna be mad at it. By the time I get through throwing on them tight ass motherfucking pants and shit. Yeah, it's tight on my titties. But I know how to sit these bitches up in this motherfucker right though. Yeah. After I get done with it, it'll be sitting up in there right. Just like that right there. And I've been putting me some jeans and shit on with it. And I'm rocking with it. This is what's happening. And this is the media. So... What else did I get? Oh. Oh, I got two more things. Hold on, family. Two more little things, and it's a wrap. Um, this was a dollar. And this is a glycemic index, weight loss, complete idiot's guide. One dollar. But that was regular one dollar. I got some stuff in the kitchen. I had got a trivet. Um, a trivet is something that you that you use. It's usually metal, or what well, that what well, this one is metal, and you put like your skillets or whatever's hot, so it won't burn your countertops or nothing like that. Though my countertops are granite, you can't really burn that. Excuse me, because it's rock, but still, you know, just to have you know a nice little you know nice little ambiance going. I have trivets and spoon rests and shit like that in my kitchen. I just kind of like that kind of shit, so I bought that. I bought those other candles. I bought um, some other little bullshit. I think I bought Isaiah a pair of jeans, some nice little Sean Johns, and I think I bought him two pair of long jeans. I bought Anthony a pair of shorts, two pair of shorts or something. And I got, oh, I got this right here. This was a dollar. This is just a box. And I, right here, I be sitting right here, you know, watching the news and whatever, and I be going through my bills and stuff. So I just put all my paperwork in here. You know, um, this is for Tioni's uh, senior pictures, but like in my checkbook. And so uh, while I'm sitting here and I'm, you know, going through my mail and paying my bills and watching TV and on my iPad and playing my games and coloring or whatever. So just so that it doesn't look messy in my corner right here, I put my shit, I like to put my shit in gift boxes like that. And it just kind of stores all that paperwork away. So just kind of clean up the mess. I'm a Virgo through and through. And I don't like, I don't like chaos. I don't like a whole bunch of shit just all over the place. You know, it kind of fucks up my creativity. Um, it's like a downer on my spirit. You know, I don't know. And especially when I leave and come back in. When I leave the house and come back. It's something about when you walk in a house and it's clean and it's kind of tidy. It's like, I don't know. It just feels good. Or like when I um, get in the bed and I got clean, fresh, clean sheets. You know, it's one of those type of things. I don't know. So anyway, those are the things that I got from the Goodwill. The rest of the stuff I got from my kids and stuff for the house and all that kinds of stuff. 
So I go to the Goodwill regularly. I love it. I'm a high-low girl. I have expensive stuff. I have cheap stuff. I buy stuff from, you know, just like everybody else, from Macy's and all that other shit. Then I buy shit from the junk store, the Goodwill, the Salvation motherfucking Army, Yard Sale, all that. I'm one of them. You know what I mean? I'm a peanut butter and jelly nigga. I'm a commodity motherfucker. And I, I'm no different than nobody else. It's just the fact that I'm very prudent. I'm very responsible. I think through what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a thinker. I'm constantly thinking. If ever I make a decision, it's the best decision that I made at that, po at that point in time. I done thought it through. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, another reason why I like to burn my incense and all that kind of stuff, because it brings clarity a lot of times for me. Now, it works for me. It might not work for everybody, but it works for me. And when I got my little incense and shit burning and I'm going through my bills or I'm coloring, I'm putting one up or whatever. Oh, my God. Y'all ain't understanding. It's called winning. It's called living. Oh, my God. I ain't got time to fuck with nobody because I don't want God to compromise what I got going. So, please understand me. And my most humble, <laughs> I'm not fucking with nobody. I ain't trying to two-step fuck, fuck with, front on, none of that shit, okay? Because I'm trying to keep mine, okay? I work too hard to get it. I work too hard to get here. Let me enjoy all this motherfucking shit. I work too hard to get here. So why the fuck am I going to fuck it up by fucking up, you know, my karma? You got the wrong one on that. I think too much, okay? On that note, I'm up out of this motherfucker. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. And we shall get up on another day. I am going to put up my videos from me going to go see New Edition and um, Jazz Fest West and all that. I haven't put those videos up because I got to put it all together and get them up. Um, and so we got some videos to catch up on. A lot of them. I am going to do some outfits of the days because I had to um, also go through my closet. I've had so much clothes array of different sizes. And 90% of my clothes in my closet are too big. So I begin to move those out, shift those out, and put things in that do fit. And um, so I'm going to do some outfit of the day. So I bought me some bad, I bought me a jean romper long sleeve that's bad as a motherfucker. And so I'm going to do some outfit of the days and shit, you know what I mean? Um, so bear with me with that. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not makeup. I'm not totally fashion. I don't know all that. I know Tina though. I run, I run my own shop and I dance to my own rhythm. I can't do it like somebody else do it. I can only do it how I do it. So, um, I'm gonna give my own spin on things. Shall we? We shall. On that note, I'm up out of this motherfucker family. <clears throat> Got my big K on deck. Got me a little twist right here and, uh, I'm with it. Just like that. I'm gone. Bye. Holla.